Welcome, I'm Dr. Janine Barry, naturopathic doctor, and today I'm discussing whole food versus synthetic vitamins, and specifically vitamin B12. So I really want you to check your vitamin B12 labels at home, and maybe this is your multivitamin, it could be your B-complex, or simply you're taking vitamin B12 on its own, and look at, it will say vitamin B12, and then in brackets it will say a word, and if that word says cyanocobalamin, so it's starts with a C, cyanocobalamin. This is something that I want you to be aware of, that this is cyanide plus cobalamin. And this is a very inexpensive way to manufacture vitamin B12 to bind it to the cobalamin. And as you can imagine, I have my reservations about taking anything with cyanide in it. And one of the breakdown products of taking this form of vitamin B12 is that unfortunately it does break down four times in your body in terms of being able to absorb that cobalamin. And every time in those four steps, it is releasing small amounts of cyanide into your circulation. So something to think about. Now, one of my more preferred forms of vitamin B12 is to always take it as a complex and a whole food complex. So one of the ways to do that is called adenosyl cobalamin, and usually this is fermented from microorganisms, and doing this in a natural way. And complex with something like chlorella is a great natural source for both forms. So the adenosyl cobalamin as well as the methyl cobalamin in that whole food state. So something to definitely look for if you're looking to increase energy levels and you're looking for a good high quality B12 whole food supplement, that would be something to look for. Now, certainly there are other great food sources, especially the non-vegetarian ones, which I'll list here, often coming from the sea. So things like clams are great for natural B12, mackerel as well as king crab are good sources from the sea of of that natural vitamin B12. In terms of liver, so beef liver and beef itself does have some natural B12, especially if it is grass fed, you're gonna have more of that vitamin B12 and eggs also have some vitamin B12. Now the vegetarian sources of vitamin B12 include soy, so tofu will have B12 and that chlorella, as I said. So looking for that in a whole food complex vitamin B12 supplement is something that is a great way to ensure that proper absorption of that vitamin B12, which we know is great for our nerves. It's really important for the myelin, which is on the top of our, our nerves as that sort of insulation of our nerve fibers. Great for our vision. We need B12 for our energy levels as well. So finding that good reputable source, whether it's from the foods or a whole food vitamin is definitely the way to go. So I hope that you learned something new. Please do check those vitamin bottles, especially for this one, for that synthetic form of the cyano cobalamin of that B12 and maybe you didn't know before but now you do. Make sure that you've got questions. I want you to hear from you in that question and comment section below as well as sharing this video. So please do share this with someone who you know will benefit if that if it's that friend or that family member that takes a ton of vitamins. Often they may be synthetic and that's why I do all of these videos to really help to educate you about the difference. I appreciate a big thumbs up and if you're new to my channel please be sure that you subscribe and turn on those post notifications by clicking that bell so that you're always notified of my newest and latest uploads which happens every single day of the week and remember to always take good care of your health and do it naturally thanks for watching